Now you all know. Um, I'm thankful that I have to come to work every day because that's the only way. I thought it was Friday all day. Like I struggled all day long with thinking it was Friday. So hello, hello. We are live on both Facebook and YouTube. So when you come on, please tell us hello, how you're doing, where you're from. We'd love to know that. Um, I have Miss Victoria here, and she is able to read um, both the dialogue on both of these platforms. So, if you got some questions, ask me some questions. Um, what we're going to do today is we are working on the arbor flowers for Rachel and Elijah's wedding. So, they are getting married this weekend, and I know if you've been watching any of our videos, we've been working with both Faux and Fresh for this wedding. And so, the arbor piece is going to be mostly faux with just touches of fresh um, added in. We're going to have berries and what else, Victoria? Berries and we have some blue thistle, some solid ego, and some eucalyptus that we're going to add in with our, with our faux material. We're going to get started on that. So, up here on my door, I have got some um, nails hung. And so, we hang, um, this is just fresh floral foam cages. So, these are, um, Victoria's not talking to me. She's been very quiet. It's always huh? hard for her to do both platforms. It's hard. So, these are fresh floral cages. We actually order these from a company called Ludwig. And Ludwig, um, makes some fantastic I mean we are we use their foam a lot and so when you hear me say fresh floral foam I don't call it Oasis because it's not Oasis brand it is actually just fresh floral foam and this one's actually called an easel mate it's got a little print um, but I think they carry like a thirsty foam. I find that it works great for us I don't know um, how other florists like it but we love it we are very pleased with their product. We actually buy it in bulk so that we're able to get um, get a wholesale price on it. But we use it a lot. We're good, Owen. Thanks. Um, so I just have nailed some nails into my door, and I'm just hanging, hooking these foam um, cages on our door. Now, anytime, and I've said this a dozen times, but I always like to say it because just in case you haven't heard me say this. Always soak your fresh floral foam first. Now, again, I am using both faux flowers and fresh flowers, so that's my reasoning in having fresh floral foam. If I were only using faux flowers, I would just use hard styrofoam um, because it works, it works great for faux flowers. Because I want to keep my um, eucalyptus and my thistle berries and solidago fresh, that's why I'm using the foam. I mean the fresh floral foam. All right, so we're gonna start with some faux green hydrangeas. And I did bring a knife. Um, Allison says, hooray, finally caught you live. Yay, hello my friend, how are you? Okay, okay so I picked these up from the hobby store, Hobby Lobby. Um, they were having the sale. You know, you only buy their artificial flowers when they're 40 or 50% off. You won't buy them when they're not. And so I bought these several weeks ago from Hobby Lobby. And what I'm doing is I just cut that plastic wrap off these stems and I am just pulling these stems apart so that we can use them throughout this piece. Um, Kyle Fletcher says, hey, 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 how are you? Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> we are good, Kyle. How are you, friend? Um, Joan Muldrew says, love your cardigan. Thanks, Miss Joan. Thank you. Okay, Miss Carol says, hi, enjoying a mild 67 degrees here in Washington. Ooh, Fall is just is around the corner. So wonderful. Doesn't it feel so good? Um, it was cool this morning. I got up and went outside and drank my coffee and did my devotion. And it was almost chilly enough to wear a sweater. Um, it was so pretty. Okay, so I just took my, my blooms apart. And I'm just taking some just wire snips to cut it. Okay, so I... The reason I have this piece hanging like this is my arbor, of course, is going to be kind of a rectangle just like this. 
One side I'm going to do flowers kind of up top on the top of that arbor and then this one's going to be low on a leg over on the opposite side. And so that's the reason they're hanging this way. So we're going to come in with these faux hydrangeas. Um, on YouTube, Miss Shelley says, trying on YouTube today. Hi from hot and dry Pflugerville, Texas. Just wish for rain. Love watching both of you young ladies designing gorgeous arrangements. Oh, thank you, friend. Thank you so much for being here with us. Um, and Miss Mary Lou says, hello, Monty and Victoria. How is mom doing? Leaving for vacation tomorrow. Going to Santa Bridge, Bridge Virginia. Ooh. Um, safe travels on your trip. I hope y'all have a wonderful time. I spoke with Mama this morning. She was feeling good. She got to visit yesterday with her great grandbaby. So um, my sister-in-law and my niece went out to visit and took Mr. Lincoln out to see her. And so she got to see that baby and um, she's doing, she's feeling okay. Um, She's tired, but she's doing great. She, her spirits are so high, she's doing great. Thank you. Um, you may have to, someone said that it's hard to hear, and it, maybe it's because it, you're on Facebook. It maybe I don't know if okay. it's far away and with you facing the wall. Okay, I'll try to turn. Thank you, I'm sorry, guys. I'll turn back towards the camera. I'm sorry about that. Um, Ms. Sherry Ann says, hi from Southern Illinois. Your work is lovely. Why, thank you so much, thank you. So what I'm doing here is I am just tucking some hydrangeas into the foam. This is, sorry y'all, my nose is itching. This is artificial blooms in fresh floral foam and it's just because we need fresh foam for some of our fresh material we're gonna use. But I'm just tucking some hydrangeas in Chloe says, we love visiting Nanny. You love visiting your Nanny, don't you, Chloe? Oh, Allison says sound is perfect on my end. Good, so good. Good. I will try to turn so that y'all can um, hear me. I'll do better. Uh, Miss Debbie says hello from Michigan. Love watching you. You both have a blessed evening. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Thank you. All right, so I have a second bush, and I'm just taking my knife and I'm running it down. That's just kind of a little plastic. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's just a little plastic piece that just covers. So I just cut that off. And then I'm gonna pull. Ray Norman says, really enjoying the faux blooms mixed with fresh. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so I just pulled all my pieces apart. Put my knife down. Sally says, hi from Ontario, Canada. Beautiful work. Thank you, Miss Sally. Thank you. So glad you're here with us. Uh, Miss Obi says, yay, catching you both live. We'll watch all the way just having coffee. It's quite early here on a Friday morning. <laughs> Sending love and prayers for your sweet mama. Thank you, sweet friend. Thank you. All right, so we've just about, I'm having a hard time holding those snips. Uh, Miss Linda Jester says, good afternoon from Williamsburg, Virginia. We just dodged that hurricane, but feeling the effects by it. Finally catching you again live. Oh, I hope you're safe. I hope everybody has been okay. Um, go ahead, Victoria, you were gonna say something. Oh, no, 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 you can. Um, I was just talking. Um. Miss Helen says sound is fine for me, and Miss Betty, who sh she was the one who me had mentioned that she was having a hard time hearing, she says, don't know what happened, but sound is okay now. Oh, good, <laughs> good. <laughs> so I'm just taking some of this foliage that was um, tucked into those hydrangeas. I'm just tucking it throughout. Go ahead and use it. This is just a, a leaf that was, oh, look at there. I was looking for the stem that was missing the head, and this is the stem. Surprise! <laughs> okay, um, 
Um, next we are going to come in with, let's see what else we got. We have got some peonies. These are kind of an autumn color. They don't come this color, but they sure are pretty. <laughs> Natural doesn't come this color, but they are really pretty and they work perfect for this wedding. Um, Shirley Seagrest says hello from Brandon, Mississippi. Hello, Miss Shirley. Hello, hello. Oh, thank you, Miss Margaret. She watched the blog. She liked it. Yes, I was going to tell you guys, if you have not watched Victoria's vlog over on YouTube, be sure to check it out. Victoria has worked so hard on the vlog. She and Owen, and she has just, she's just been working so hard. And so go check that out. Um, we do have a link, was that yesterday? We have a link over here in Facebook. So if, when you finish our video here, um, scroll back to yesterday and you can click on our vlog and watch Miss Victoria. Um, she did all, she and Owen did all the work. I didn't do a thing. Mm -hmm. So these are some peachy colored roses. All of these stems came from Hobby Lobby. And again, I just got them on sale. I just bought them on sale. So I'm using my snips and cutting those stems. Uh, Miss Carol asks, what are you making this for? This is for a wedding. So we are going to, we have a little wedding this weekend. Rachel and Elijah are getting married. And so this is for their little wedding. Uh, Miss Tina says, I did the arbor for my son's wedding. They wanted flowers all over, so I cut greenery out from my yard. Awesome. And used artificial flowers. It turned out nice, but a lot of work. A lot of work. Yes, yes. I have um, one that's solid greenery and um, flowers in November. And so I'm looking forward to, forward to it because it's going to be kind of, I've never done that before. I've never done solid flowers before. I like that? Yeah, I think that's good. Um, so I am looking forward to seeing how all of that works. I'll bring you along. Don't worry. <laughs> you know you're stuck with me. I'm going to make you go along. And it's going to be, um, we're going to do everything on site for that wedding. Um, Cecilia is watching from Honduras. Hello, Cecilia. Welcome. Miss Shirley says, I love the green hydrangeas. Aren't they pretty? They're so pretty. That green is so pretty, I think. Okay, so these are supposed to be like little ranunculus. We just took those. They came on a bush with these um, peonies. And so we're just popping some of that peach here and there. Goodness, my nose is itching. Somebody's coming to see me. That's what my mama would say. Uh, Miss Kay asks, are they renting these arrangements? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, um, we charged a rental fee for these flowers. So, um, we will go and pick these up on Sunday after the wedding. <laughs> Miss Margaret says, a credit to my teacher <laughs> for the arrangements. <laughs> oh. Um... Miss Susan says hello, Monty and Victoria from Chattanooga. Hey, Miss Susan, welcome, welcome. Oh, thank you, Miss Susan. She watched the arrangements too. Are they liking those? Thanks, guys. Um, look at these carnations, y'all. They're mm -hmm. beautiful. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. They're beautiful. Um, Daily with Deb says you're such a pro. You cut real and live flowers effectively. <laughs> I enjoy it. It's so much fun. Miss Rhea says, it's just after 10 in the evening here in England. I'm enjoying watching in my PJs. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, friend. I got that one dirty. Rosemary says, love the autumn colors. Nice change from the bright summer ones. Hope your mama is doing well. Thank you so much. She is. She's, I have not talked to her this afternoon, but I talked to her this morning. She was having a good day. Um, of course, it was 9 o'clock in the morning. 
But she slept good. <laughs> but I have not talked to her this afternoon. Um, Belle Swiss Design says, I made some wedding bouquets last fall with that exact bush from Hobby Lobby. Really? And they added a blue and purple to it. It Ooh. honestly surprised me how it turned out. Actually posted it to my page yesterday or the day before. Ooh, share it with us. Share it under your comment. We'd love to see it. I bet it is beautiful. Now, I am putting some blue thistle with this. Okay, so I got some burgundy. I was going to say, that's all the, all the, oh. So this was just a little bush, an inexpensive little bush. So we're going to tuck that in. Oh, <laughs> Daily with Deb, <laughs> she says, um, she meant to say real and artificial, not live. <laughs> um, but she says, it's me, Deborah German, circle sister. Oh, yes. Hello, friend. <laughs> Okay, I'm pulling, be sure when using artificial flowers, y'all pull off the tags. Don't leave the tags on them. And Sweetbriar says, hi, yay, I'm so happy I got you live. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. So <laughs> glad you're here, my friend. Okay, so I'm just fluffing those stems. I just left several blooms on one stem. There's a sticker. Pull it off. I like the maroon in there. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. It adds like a richness. It does. It just kind of makes it a little more fall. Mm -hmm. Susan Davis says, love watching you make arrangements. You make it look so easy. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, friend. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Miss Lenny says she watched the vlog and she loved it. Thank you. Yay! Victoria was so excited. She said, mm -hmm. I didn't, nobody um, fussed about how things were done this time, so mm -hmm. we didn't get she didn't get any negative critiques this well, time. Well, I'm so just happy was, the, my main concern was the captions. Yeah. And so I think they worked a lot better this time. So this is called, it's Faux Hanging Amaranthus. Now, I had honestly thought that I would order fresh Hanging Amaranthus. Um, <clears throat> my only problem with Amaranthus is it comes in about 70 stems. So you can't buy 20 25 stems, you have to buy a box of 70. The problem with amaranthus is it's not long lasting. So it won't hold over for my next wedding. It would do, I mean, it would last a week, a week and a half, and that's about as far as you can get from, from it. So I just decided to buy um, faux. Now my problem with faux was it wasn't the right color. It came in this ivory color, very, very creamy white. So, of course, we took some handy dandy spray paint and we spray painted it. So, we used a little bit of maroon and a little bit of green. You can kind of see the green in there. We're going to add this probably at the end. She loved the look of hanging amaranthus. So, we're going to add some faux amaranthus in in just a little bit. Next, we're going to come on in with some of our fresh flowers. Um, so, our fresh florals include blue thistle and so we're just going to take our stems of thistle i'm going to cut that stem at an angle oh i love the blue um thank you miss ovi she said she watched the vlog and they were beautiful arrangements learning from the pro you should be on the road to becoming a pro yourself you have the best teacher Monty. <laughs> i do i do have the best teacher <laughs> <laughs> Miss Margaret said Victoria even Osa thought it was a magical uh, bless he it that man. cat y'all is the funniest thing he'll be in here in a minute probably if he's not outside he is such a funny cat he just thinks everything is about him um, Miss Shirley says y'all my niece is watching today oh welcome um, she said, I saw her name come through. She is from Oxford. Her name is Sandy Aldridge Allen. Welcome, Sandy. So glad you're here. <laughs> Miss Shelby says, this arbor arrangement is beautiful. Love the colors. Thank you. So I'm just taking each flower and I'm kind of spreading it out throughout. Now, it is going to get bigger, I promise. We're going to use some, we're going to use some pompous plumes. So that's going to draw it out and make it a little larger. 
Um, Pat Wood sent 500 stars. Thank you so much for the stars. Thank you. She says, good afternoon, Monty and Victoria from North Carolina. Caught you live, been looking at all the videos, and I love all y'all's work. Oh, thank you so much. We enjoy doing what we do, don't we, Victoria? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sweetbriar says, dang, that looks good. <laughs> well, thank you, friend. <laughs> okay, so there is our thistle. I probably got that too long. Oh, Miss Janice, I did not do a live. We, me and Owen worked on a little vlog um, over on YouTube. And I did a few arrangements on there. Let's work with some hypericum berries. So hypericum berries, also known as coffee berries, come in lots of colors. Um, they come in like a peach and a pink and a white and a green and a red and this pretty burgundy. Now, I am going to remove the foliage from this hypericum. The foliage is actually pretty right now, but it quickly, um, becomes not pretty. So if it doesn't get quite um, quite enough water, it is going to not look pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that off. So it just leaves the pretty berries. Miss Linda says you create with such ease. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Miss Janice says, it is beautiful. I didn't say that earlier. I was just excited to see you live. <laughs> <laughs> so glad you're here, friend. <laughs> um, Lynn says, greetings from Northern Illinois. These are beautiful. You truly love being a floral designer. I do, Lynn. I do. I tell you, um, I cannot imagine doing anything else. I really can't. Now, I enjoy teaching and teaching my babies in Sunday school and all those kind of things, but I, this is really, it was my calling. It was really my calling. I wake up every morning excited to go to work. Mm -hmm. And you know what a sad world it is that not everybody gets to do that. And so I am so thankful. Miss Mary Lou, um... Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the vlog. Um, she says I still need to do a live. <laughs> I, I did. For, I have forgotten about doing a live. She, but the, I tell you, you just don't know how much work those vlogs really take. Mm -hmm. I mean, like she'll do, gosh, how many days? She'll do days and days of video. You know, pile enough to be able to do a vlog. And then it takes a lot of editing. Yeah. And so... It really takes more than you think. Yeah. With mine, I go live. It's easy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's easier than trying to compile lots of video. Oh, I love the berries. They make me happy. This is pretty. Um, this, she also says, Miss Mary Lou also says, this is beautiful, Monty. I also love the colors. Aren't they pretty? Isn't it so nice to have autumn colors? Um, I was telling Victoria, I said, now, Victoria, this is the perfect color for you. Victoria is so auburn with that pretty um, red hair. And I said, you've got to get married in the fall. It's so complimentary. <laughs> they are pretty colors. It is. Um, Melanie on YouTube asks, how many hours in advance of the wedding do you attach these to the arbor being in the late summer heat? Okay, so these are actually, because they are faux, the majority of them are faux. And everything else that I'm adding is pretty hardy. These are actually going to go up tomorrow evening. Um, and it's because um, she is going to take pictures um, pretty early the next day. And so we're going to go ahead and hang the, all the faux we are going to hang tomorrow. This is Solidago Aster. You know, it's my favorite, and Solidago is hardy. Um, but the reason I chose to use the, um, the floral foam is because it does give it some, it gives it some moisture and helps the flowers last longer. Um, Sheila Kendall says that color combination is so striking. Love fall blends. Y'all are so creative. Oh, thank you. 
Kathleen Ogden says, good morning from B Brisbane. The color combination is lovely, and I like the inclusion of berries and hanging amaranthus. Yes, don't you love the berries? The berries make me happy. The thistle does, too. I can remember it hadn't been too long ago. Someone said, thistle is a weed. I love weeds. <laughs> I love weeds. Casaladay goes a weed too. <laughs> um, Daily with Deb says, I have become a collector of pie block box flowers from Amazon. I love them and just keep saving them. Aww. Um, Don Miller says that is gorgeous. Thanks, Don Miller. Thank you, friend. Oh, Miss Marianne, thank you. <laughs> she, um, she enjoys the vlogs. Oh, I'm so glad. Um, thank you for the birthday wishes. She also says great people are born in September. I um, agree. Micah Thomas is also. I born agree. September. I got some September <laughs> babies. <laughs> Pretty great people are born in August, too. <laughs> in March. October and June and July yeah. and March. <laughs> There's some pretty great people that are born. <laughs> yes, our Victoria is early September and our Micah Thomas is late September. So we got the beginning and the end. Okay, so next... Let's wait and put our foliage in last. So we are going to come in with some pompous plumes. Now, I know pompous plumes are controversial. Nobody, not everybody likes them. But this is something that the bride wanted. So we're going to use what she wanted. And I think it's really going to put a real pop in this arrangement. So these are pompous grass plumes. Um, they're just the little, the little fuzzy things that come out of the top. Okay, um, and so don't come after me when you don't like the pompous grass. Um, but this is beautiful. It's beautiful all by itself. It really doesn't need the pompous grass, but you got to do what the bride asks, right? So I'm going to take, and I am just using my fingernail and just popping it in pieces. Sweet Pryor says, we gals and guys need on here need to come out to meet you and I'll go to lunch. <laughs> what fun would that be? <laughs> you are not going to be impressed by this little flower shop. I promise. There's nothing impressive about it. You're just going to get me in Victoria. Miss <laughs> <laughs> um, Ever asks, how long will Florida fern last in floral foam? Oh, fern lasts a long time as, lo as long as the... Um, as long as it's wet, as long as you keep water in the foam, you're, it's going to last a long time. Miss Marianne asks, do you have many weddings in September? Actually, we've got, they're all very small, but we have, how many, Victoria? One, one this weekend. We skip a weekend. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think six weddings this month. Now, little. They're fairly small, but that's okay. That's To me, that's I'm happier when they're small. I can put more attention to the little details when they're small. Um, but I think we have six. Um, Becky Dunlap says, the shop may not be impressive, but what you all create there sure is. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We love it. Mm -hmm. It makes us happy. <laughs> it keeps us busy, doesn't it, Victoria? Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Julie says, your videos are so happy and relaxing. It just makes my day on difficult, painful days like today. Oh, Miss Julie, I'm sorry. You're not feeling good, sweet friend. Okay. Oh, they're all liking the pompous. Are you liking friend. the pompous? Oh, Miss Mary Lou, my birthday is on September 2nd, so it'll be on Saturday. She's the second. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I didn't say that. Oh no. Our September girl. Mm -hmm. And then Jason is an October baby. He was he was found in the pumpkin patch. He mm -hmm. um, his hair is is red. Well, when we married, it was bright red, like a pumpkin. <laughs> Victoria's always been that pretty deep auburn. But Jason was very red-headed, orange, orangey-red. 
<laughs> so I'm just taking these pompous plumes and I'm just breaking them into smaller pieces so they don't overwhelm. Ooh, I like the pompous, y'all. Now, pompous plumes, you can go out and harvest. I actually got these plumes from Budsy, which is our, um, our wholesaler that we buy our flowers from. Um, and we buy them from a farm direct. Um, Sweetbriar asks, are they the natural pompous? It is. It's natural. Um, this has, I don't believe it's been bleached. It's kind of got that natural kind of tan color. Thank you, Mimi, for your sweet message. Love you, too. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's add a little bit of eucalyptus. We're not going to add a whole lot. And the reason is, is this uke is going to dry. It just gets dry over time. So we're not going to, um, we won't use a whole lot. But let's just add a little bit of this movement Oh, thank you, Miss Dolly, for the birthday wishes. I love the name Dolly. That's mm -hmm. a sweet name. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Marianne says, it's you and your team that are impressive. I so enjoy being a part of this family. Oh, I'm so thankful you're here. Thank you. And Miss Julie says, the people make the shop. A welcoming <laughs> place and a smiling face is what we need everywhere. So we're just taking this eucalyptus and we're just nestling it right into that foam. They're loving the colors of this. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, it is so pretty. I'll, um, I don't know. Did y'all watch the video that I did when I made, um, I made the, my mind just went blank. I love it. The barrel arrangement. I did it out of these same flowers. But I'll go get it because it really does match so well. It's so pretty together. I was excited about this wedding because she chose the traditional, you know, pretty fall tones. Um, Sweet Briar says, your earrings rock. I just noticed them. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. I was telling Robbie, I said, I got some awesome earrings on today and I am going to have a good day. <laughs> Thank you everyone for the birthday wishes. Ooh, we're gonna get all those birthday wishes, Victoria. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, Deidre Baird said, I I caught my first live. Yay, that's beautiful. I love the colors. Oh, thank you, friend. Thank you so much. Um, Chastity asks, how much do these cost? Okay, so we actually have one more piece that will go with this. So um, she's going to have this arbor that's, you know, pretty wide. And then it's going to be a cross in the center. So we're going to do another small piece that goes on the cross in the center. So, of course, these are both rental and fresh. Um, and so this is $300 for this. And it's going to be, um, again, it's going to have a cross in the center. And I'm just going to make just a small little piece to go on the cross um, with the same type of flowers. Let's add a little bit of, this is baby blue or spiral eucalyptus. Let's add a little bit of that. And the thing that's nice about like the spiral eucalyptus, it will dry so nice and it smells pretty. And so it dries really well. I'm gonna throw it on the floor. Miss Janice says, we're not here to be impressed, just to be loved. And you all <laughs> do that so well. I am so glad. You know, that's what I had to learn too when I started videos. At first I thought everything I did needed to be big and impressive. Um, I didn't really know if you would follow if I just did everyday stuff. And so I just realized that in order to be able to do videos, Mommy, just be you. Just do everyday stuff. 
Um, I am not. I mean, you're never going to find an impress. I mean, I'm not impressive. <laughs> I don't try to be. I just show you what I do every day. Um, and I hope that I am able to help you if you want to learn how to do flowers. Um, but I just learned that, you know, it's not about trying to impress everybody all the time. Now, I can do impressive. But in our little flower shop, we don't always sell the biggest and the showiest and the fanciest things. We sell a bubble bowl. And that's what sells, so that's what I make for you. So I'm thankful that you enjoy our simple little flower shop. And I'm thankful that I'm able to come here and spend time with you. It's been a true blessing. Um, Becky says, I love the everyday stuff. You've taught me so much. <laughs> I'm so glad. Uh, Miss Marianne says, yes, saw the barrel design. This combination of faux and live is the best of two worlds. Are more... She, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. She asks, are more brides choosing the combination of the two? Well, I tell you, with this bride, the main thing was is she was on a very tight budget. And um, I wanted her to be able to have beautiful florals and stay in her budget. And so what I discussed with her is I said, listen, I said, I don't know if this would be anything you would be interested in, but I've been playing with the idea of offering florals that I can rent and then I pick up those florals, but you get beautiful florals and they're faux. Um, and she said, I think that's great. And so we were able to do beautiful flowers and stay within her budget. And she was happy to do faux. And so for me personally, it just works out great for her and it works out great for us. We get all these flowers back and we're able to do, use them again. And so that's my reason really and i just want to be able to offer a beautiful product at a reasonable price for a bride to be able to have flowers and so that's why um why i started doing that and and i think it's a great idea i think it's really works but um so this is we have two this month that are going to be like this now the other wedding Hers is much different than this, but I think it'll be lovely. It's going to be different, though. Um, Bell's Bliss Design says, My shop sells like yours. Simple is the best sometimes. Yes, it's just, you know, we just do everyday things. Okay, so I'm just tucking that hanging amaranthus just kind of down deep in that arrangement. I don't know if you can see it hanging. Um, Tammy Thompson asks, what else could be used in place of eucalyptus? Could you use stock? Stock's not going to hold. Well, I could use faux. Um, yeah, you could use stock, but in the heat, stock is not going to be so happy. Um, that's the only problem, is that right now in Mississippi, we're still really hot. It's still hot, hot in Mississippi. And so stock outside is not going to be the happiest flower there is. Melanie Gomez says, interesting the fresh and silk combos you have come up with. I have some questions about selling these concepts to brides. Better to private message you on yes, Facebook Messenger? Yes, yeah, yes. Send me a message and we'll talk about it. And I tell you, if you want to talk about something, you can always call the flower shop too. If I'm not busy, I am so happy to talk to you too. We actually had a florist from Miami call today. And he was asking some questions about some, um, ooh, I like the amaranthus. Mm -hmm. I like that. He was asking questions about some product that we have um, and asking where we could order it. And so I gave him that information. So I always, I always welcome a call. I'm going to run grab the barrel arrangement, but this is the arbor. And y'all, I am impressed. Mm -hmm. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, the wonderful part about faux, too, I follow this girl over on TikTok, and it's called um, World of Faux. She only does faux weddings. She only does faux rentals and faux weddings. And so I love to watch her. Um, she's funny, though, because she... Um, Traditional florists do, not, I, obviously, from watching her video, traditional florists give her a lot of fleck. They fuss at her all the time about stealing their, their weddings. Well, now, really, 
They weren't coming to you as a florist anyway if they want to use her. Why people have to worry about competition, I don't know. But she does a whole lot of rentals. Like most, every everything she does is rentals. Um, you do purchase the bouquets, I think, but I'm not sure that you have to. But she does everything faux. For me, I really like the fresh added in, but I'm a fresh florist and I love that part of it. I've always loved that part. Um, but she will go pick up all those flowers. The next wedding may be whites and blues and, and peaches and greens. So she'll pull all the peach and green out of these. She'll pop those in the whites and blues and that's the next wedding. And so she's able to recycle all those blooms. Um, and for me, I don't know how many weddings we'll get with faux and fresh, but I'm able to reuse these flowers in other arrangements. Say we have a church arrangement and they want um, these pretty autumn colors. Well, that's what we'll probably sell as the autumn colors. So it's just nice to have them in your, um, in your storage so that you're able to use them for both selling or rental. So it's always nice. I'm gonna go grab the arrangement that I did that was for the barrel. I'll grab that real quick and show you. Thank you everyone for all the sweet messages about our shop. Um, we so appreciate those. And we love getting to do these with you and getting to know you all. And also thank you for all the early birthday wishes. You guys are the sweetest. Um, but yeah, we so appreciate you guys. Thank you. Can you grab that? Here is the barrel arrangement. It is going to go at the front of the, um, this will go at the front of the aisle. And I think if I put some, some of this um, baby blue uke in there, it would really be pretty. It is also arranged in fresh floral foam. Okay, over on YouTube, we're get we went dark. We're coming no, back. No, 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 they um. No, they know it. You just can't oh, see it. I'm sorry. Okay, I thought we went dark. <laughs> there you go. But there is that arrangement. So this will go. Um, again, it's going to go on a um, barrel, and so all of these, all of these artificial blooms, just come back to the flower shop. All of the. Um, all of the pompous plumes can be reused. Um, of course, the eucalyptus and the thistle and the solidago and the berries are probably not going to be pretty and that's completely okay. I just worked that into the cost of the arrangement. Anybody else got any questions, Miss Victoria? Yeah. Lots of them. Okay. Um, so, let's see. I'm Chris Christina Browning asks, do your brides ask about rentals or do you offer it if they are budget brides? Um, I usually, it depends on what their vision is. So this bride came in on a tight budget. And so we talked about her dreams, what she had in mind, all of that. And so to work within that budget, I offered her this. So these are really some of my first um, brides that I've ever done silks for. Um, now my late September bride, um, she came in, she had already ordered her bouquets um, in artificial and she wanted everything in artificial. So really it just depends on the bride. It depends on, number one, you just have to read the bride. You just have to know what she has in mind. First of all, get her vision, get her idea, get her budget, and then try to work with her. Um. Miss Mary asks, will her bouquet be fresh flowers? Her bouquet is fresh. And so I will do the video tomorrow. We may go live early tomorrow because I am going to go, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the flower shop about 2.30 to go and help her set up this wedding. And so we'll probably go early tomorrow. And if you're interested, not only if you're interested, I will do her bouquet um, on the live. We do have, she has four bridesmaids. And she has, we have the bride, those are all fresh. All her corsages and boutonnieres were fresh. Um, and then rose petals to go down the aisle are all fresh. So everything to wear and to carry is fresh. All of the decorations like the pew markers and this barrel arrangement and the arbor are all artificial and fresh mixed in. Um, Connie asks, what was the name of the lady that does the flower rentals? 
Um, on, it, I've only found her on TikTok, and it's World of Foe, F-A-U-X, Foe. Oh, thank you, Allison. She's there. She was helping. She was helping. I didn't even see her. Um, Sweetbriar asks, Monty, have you ever had a bride pay a deposit, then cancel and go with another florist? You know what? I don't think so. Um, that I've ever had that happen. I have had brides cancel. Um, at the last minute, we've had brides cancel where I've already done, I've already ordered all her flowers. Um, but I don't think I've ever had anybody pay a deposit and then go with another florist. Um, now I have had them ghost me, of course, and you're going to have that. You're going to have people come in and get your quote and then go off to another florist, and I'm sure they're taking my quote with them. Um, and you know, it just is what it is. <laughs> I've just learned in life that is what it is. We probably weren't meant to work together anyway, so it is what it is. Um, our camera battery is low. Are we low? You do have several questions still. Okay. Um, we'll go quick. Um, uh, Miss Mary Ann Covert says the corsage and boutonniere you posted were for this wedding also. Did we post a corsage and boutonniere today? Oh. Oh, the boutonnieres. Did we go black? Yeah. We went dark. Do you want to change that battery and go live again on that? So, we did post the boutonnieres. They are for this wedding, the orange wedding. Um, you want me to grab that battery for you? You got it. It's over there. Um, we did um, post that. I did a video on how to put those corsages together. Um, and Owen's going to post that tomorrow on YouTube. Um, we actually, uh, someone asked on here, and I don't remember who it was, asked about um, how to make a corsage, a wrist corsage. And so I made it in two different ways. Um, for this wedding, so there's two ways you can make a wrist corsage. Of course, most people know that. You can do the gluing like I do at prom. And you've seen me put together um, a wrist corsage where I glue everything onto the wristlet itself. Or you can make it where you wire and tape everything and then attach it to the wristlet. Now, the reason I would make it wired and taped, and I can go grab those corsages real quick for you. The reason you do it wired and taped and do it like a pin-on corsage is because for this wedding, they asked that the flowers, is it not going to go on? <laughs> you keep spinning and spinning. Um, they asked that we put pins in them also so that you could wear it on your wrist or on a pin on. Um, so I did do a tutorial for you guys um, for YouTube. I tried to do it on um, on Facebook too as a video. I could, I, Owen did not push record. <laughs> so I did the entire video showing it and record was not pushed. So what a pain, but anyway, yes. Um, so there will be a tutorial for the corsages that Owen will post tomorrow on YouTube. And um, and I'll be sure to announce it tomorrow for you. Uh, Miss Mary Eleanor, what about her centerpieces for the tables, fresh and faux? Centerpieces for the table, she is going to, she has um, garden blooms. Um, that she provided with her little vases. So she's gonna just add individual little blooms from her, I don't know where she's getting them, but she's gonna do those in little vases. And then she's going to take the pew markers and use those as centerpieces. She'll probably use her bouquets too, her bridesmaids bouquets. Um, Facebook, it, it won't let me see the all the comments. Okay, exit out and then go back and it should. I don't think it. It does that sometimes where it shows all the comments and then all of a sudden... And then it, it says, it nope, yeah, not going to give them to you. It won't let me see any of them. Okay, did you exit out? Yeah. What are we doing on YouTube? Any more questions on YouTube? Um, While you're looking, I'm going to run grab those corsages so y'all can see the difference really quickly. No, nope. I'm so sorry, guys. It won't let me see all those comments. But... Um, I know that Monty does go back and and tries to answer anything that didn't get answered on the live, um, but I'm so sorry. But this is a very pretty wedding. I'm really excited. The colors are gorgeous. Okay, so this is what we um, this is a pin on. Okay, a traditional pin-on corsage, right? Um, so the flowers are at the top, 
and then the ribbon is at the bottom, right? And if you turn it around, you'll see that I have attached a wristlet to that wired and taped corsage, but down here at the bottom, I have added some pins so that it can be pinned on if they want to, or it can slide right on her wrist and be worn on her wrist. Just very traditional corsage, okay? Okay, and then this is a, is a glued corsage. So a glued corsage, most often the flowers are just nestled right down into the ribbon um, and they're glued in. We glue the ribbon first and then we add all of the stuff. Um, and you can see it's got the little wristlet there and it just slides on their wrist. Now you can do a wrist corsage that's a little less traditional than my wrist corsage. Mine all, most often has ribbon. Um, you can do just greenery and flowers, um, and they're beautiful. Um, most often we, I don't know why, but we often do the ribbon. So just a very simple, but you can tell they're very, they're different. You can tell this is more of a pin on style. Um, Yvonne says, I am recently widowed and I really enjoy watching you. Oh, I'm so glad, friend. Thank you. Um, Miss Marianne. Oh, thank you, Miss Marianne. <laughs> she says, no worries. Technology is only a good part of the time. Well, that's uh, right. You know, just go with the flow. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. go with the flow. I can't see. All right. Well, guys, we are fixing to call it a day. We are going to tuck all these into our cooler, and we're going to tuck them into the cooler just strictly because it's going to keep all of our foliage and all of our filler flower fresh for tomorrow. So we're going to tuck everything into the cooler. We will pull it out tomorrow afternoon when we head to deliver. Um, again, I will do a live over on Facebook tomorrow. So those of you are, who are on YouTube, if you want to come back tomorrow and check out the Brides Bouquet, I will do the Brides Bouquet on a live. It's going to be earlier than normal, so it's probably going to be sometime in the morning. Um, or a lunchtime somewhere around in there. Um, so if you want to see that, y'all please come back and we will do our devotion in the morning over on Facebook. So check us out there. I usually come live at eight o'clock in the morning if you're interested in our devotion. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. Do me a great big favor over here on Facebook. Sprinkle this video. If you are watching this video um, as a replay in the comments, if you wouldn't mind, put hashtag replay so that we know that you are watching our video during replay. Guys, I hope you have a great evening and we'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks, guys.